think the uh, picture of Christ in the every home campaign or effort is really, really significant in the sense that, you know what, there are times in our lives when we don't have the answers. Putting a picture in every home of Christ has significant meaning for me because I've got four kids. I want my kids to know to the source to which they can look for peace and happiness and joy in their life. And I'm not talking about the momentary fleeting pleasures that come and go in the lives of kids and teenagers. I'm talking about, you know, lasting peace and happiness, the kind that really speaks to your heart and that stays with you forever. I want my kids to know the one thing that they can look to in the source of happy times and sad times, in times of turmoil and in times of challenge and struggle is they can look at that picture of the Savior and know that if they'll get on their knees and pray, that they can A, receive answers to their prayers and B, that He is there and He is listening. What better way of doing that than having a picture of Him in their rooms? I, I don't know. I don't know that there's ever really been a time where someone's caught a vision of Christianity and this idea that, you know, a painting of Christ really is a unifying thing. There's really no argument to be had about this piece of doctrine or that piece of doctrine or was he a great man or was he a prophet. I think the whole idea of to the Christian world that really he is the Son of God, that he died for our sins, and that by putting a painting of Christ in the home of anybody, I think if he were here and if he had a say in it, he'd say, you know what, whatever I can do, I'd like to bring people together and, and make them more inclusive, give them common purpose and give them the idea that they would talk about their common beliefs rather than how they differ. What a painting of Christ has done for me in my home is be a constant source of peace and a constant source of solace to me. I myself was married for 20 years to a girl of my dreams and you know in just a matter of months found myself divorced and you know I, I think it's, not, it's a place where I'd never even imagined myself. You know, to this day I have a great sense of love and my heart for the girl I was married to for 20 years. But no matter how far I go off the beaten path, no matter what mistakes that I make, he's made it possible for me to come back from maybe situations and choices that I've made in back into his fold and back into good grace with him. I think if I were to meet him, been times in my life when I was certain I wasn't ready, but I hope at the time when I am ready to meet him, I hope what I would be able to say and the words I'd be able to put together would in some fashion convey the gratitude and the love that I feel for what I know has been him carrying me through the tough times. You know, you know for a certainty that he's there and that he lives and that he loves you. And when you hear that scripture about, come unto me all ye that are heavy laden and I will give you rest and take my yoke upon you. I feel like he's been there to lift me, to help me feel a sense of peace and certainty that really what I'm doing here on earth is that I have a certain purpose, that I know that if I'll seek to do his will rather than my own, that I'll be, in a sense, following in his footsteps, and that someday, really, he will put his arms around me and say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've really, you've done what I've asked you to do. You've passed the test. You know what? Come be with me.